Hi friends, welcome to my channel and this is VMware Certification VCP 6.5 Data Center Virtualization Training video and this is the 8th video, video in this series and today in this video I am going to show you mapping LUN or data store to ASXS I host. So here is my demo environment. So we have a win 2 12 dc one which is our Active Directory server. Here you can see the Active Directory and DNS role on running in this machine. And you can see the domain name is victimforsoul.com and my second machine is vcenter server which is vcenter65 so let's check out I'm logging to vspare uh, v, v web client so it will take some time so here we go allow So this is my vCenter server. Wait, wait. So here we go. We we spare web client and we have a vCenter server which is vCenter 6.5 and all the three ESX host I added here. So we have three ESX I host, ESX I 01, 02, and 03. You can see all three ESX I host is added to on this uh, vCenter server and we have a Starwin which is installed on my physical machine here you can see on a physical machine I have installed the uh, Starwin virtual uh, SAN and we have created one ISKC target so all this we have done in our last few videos and in last video I have created the storage network for ISKC which is which is basically kernels kernel network uh, we have iskc1 we have iskc2 on all three esxi host for like providing the redundant path for storage access which we are going to access from uh, my physical machine here uh, to for the starwin virtual SAN. so to connect to uh, learn we need to connect to learn our data store we need to first go to storage adapter we must have one storage adapter which is connecting the our uh, storage uh, devices with our ESXi host so in my case uh, I'm running a, a virtual appliance which is a star wind to create a virtual SAN so I'm going to click here add and I'm going to use a software ISKC adapter with uh, based storage so a new uh, ISKC software ISKC adapter is going to add okay now you can see changing software ISKC adapter so we have a one ISKC software adapter here and now you can see that this is online and we need to provide a network port binding first so go here and click add and you can see we have created ISKC1 and ISKC2 in last video so I'm going to add both the disk here uh, both the network card here after so click OK and now you can see it's compliant and path status is not used so it's due to uh, we need to refresh the storage adapter so before refreshing it I am I'm going to uh, add a target also here so on a dynamic discovery I'm going to click on add and I'm going to put my ISKC server which is my host in my case 100 click OK and now you can see we don't have any path network is status in use so now I'm going to refresh it so now you can see rescanning HBA adapter and now you can see we have a three disk here which is detected by um, ISKC software adapter and we have a path also uh, here you can see it's now active and if you go in path you can see we have total six path available because we have two NIC uh, two NIC which is uh, going to connect to storage and we have a three storage after here so it's good now if you go here on data stores click on add button then you will get this uh, VMFS volume so click next and we have a here I'm going to call it like you can say ISO and put it 
next this I am creating for ISO and I am going to use a VMFS 6 enable format so go ahead and click okay and we I am going to use the full path which is 20 GB and we have a here default block size and space reclaim currently so click next and click finish and here you can see it's added here and same I'm going to follow to create a two more data stores so next and we need to click here so got it like one and going to create a VMFS 6 click next and then we need to if you want to use a full space you can use either you can go with the some more space here also so I'm going to use a hundred gig of this so now you can see it's going to use only hundred gig so click next and we need to click on finish and it's con creating VMS volume so it's done and same we need to create one more here so click next and we need to select this and put here LAN 02 click next and we have a 6 now I'm going to use the full size here so click next and finish now you can see we have created uh, three LUNs uh, data store here one for I, uh, ISO and two LUNs for like VMs or uh, anything so now I'm going to extend this how how to extend this so I'm going to click here uh, you can go and click on settings so it will take you to the data store setting configuration page so here we have a option capacity in capacity you can see the total capacity is like 100 gig so you need to click here on increase then it will give you option to select the data data store so you can see the learn one have a capacity of 120 gig so click next now you can see we have a partition configuration here so uncon select the configuration so we we can use use free space 20 gig to expand the data store yes so new capacity will be 120 gig so click next so you can see the future data store size is around 1 120 and in, we are increasing by 20 gig so and you can also select see here maximum file size is 64 TB here and click finish it's expanding volume and now you can see here it's expanded to total capacity and also you can go here on ASXI host and you can see the path here it has been created so this is all about like creating a data store so I want to upload something here so if you go in browse um, ISO if I click here browse files you can see it's taking me to files path so here we can see upload files to a data store and we have option to create a new folder also so I'm going to upload few ISO here so to upload ISO I'm going to click on upload ISO and if I go to my computer I have a Z drive mapped here so going to upload some Windows Server 2008 R2 ISO so click open and now you can see it's a starting upload and progress is 0 percent for now so this is how uh, all the about like creating ISCC storage and adding them to a data store on ASXI host so now you can go here and if you see on ASXI 1 we have a mapped on ASXI 2 we don't have anything so I'm going to add here also so let's do this 
mm, we need to go to adapter storage adapter and click add storage software okay and now it will add this storage here so now network binding click add select the both disk now we need to go to target we need to add the target here so 1.100 and setting now we are good to go and rescan this host pass adapter so now you can see the path is active and also we have a um, here uh, path and devices are mapped so now if you go on data store click refresh you will get the all the three data so because we, uh, we don't need to create a, a VMFS volume because we have done on one ESXi host so it will be all automatically redirected reflected to another ESXi host when we are going to add and ESXi 3 I have already added the ISKC software adapt, uh, ISKC adapter here, software ISKC adapter, so it's done. So this is all about like mapping the learner data store so, to ESXi host. So thank you for watching and please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any query, any question related to this, please post me on my given mail IDs. Thank you once again. Bye bye.